the most requested update since the start of Surfshark has finally come out. Also, antivirus launched on Mac, new VPN locations were added, and much more. Let's talk Surfshark updates. Alright Linux fans, it's the one release you've all been waiting for. This month, the Surfshark Linux application received the graphical user interface update. Very few VPNs have such a fully developed and feature-rich app for Linux, and we are extremely excited to bring it to you. First things first, compatibility. At the moment, this GUI update is only supported on Ubuntu. That being said, it may also work with other Debian-based distros, such as Kali Linux. To get this awesome new app, jump over to Surfshark.com and at the top, click on VPN. Now, just select Linux. And on this new page, click on Download and install the app. Immediately after opening the app, you will notice that it's no longer a black window where you have to type in commands to connect. Instead, it now functions like other Surfshark apps. So let's quickly go over the new features that were added with this update. First and foremost, the new interface allows you to quickly connect to nearest, fastest, static IP, and multi-hop locations. Next, there's a new protocol, WireGuard. You can enable it in the VPN settings. WireGuard will make your connection blazing fast and keep it stable at the same time. Also, you can now use clean web on Linux, which was not possible before. And finally, Surfshark developers also added an ability to connect or open the app via the status bar. So that is everything you need to know about this new and exciting GUI update. We appreciate you guys voting on our product idea section and letting us know which features you want the most. This is just the first big leap for our Linux app and more improvements are on their way. Surfshark Apple team blessed our Mac computers this month with the 4.0 update. With this new release, you are now able to scan your computer for any viruses or malware. This will ensure that your device stays secure as you browse and download any files off the web. The important bit to remember is that antivirus will only work with the DMG version of the Surfshark app, which you can download from our website. But if you want to know all the details on how to get it and use it, then check out our full dedicated Mac antivirus video right here. Surfshark iOS app also got some small but sweet changes. First, when searching for a location to connect to, you will get suggestion bubbles for various regions or countries. This way you can find exactly what you're looking for even faster. You will also now get a notification warning whenever your phone connects to an unsafe network. With that, you will know that you need to connect to a VPN ASCP to remain secure. And now it is time for our VPN Location Roundup Asia Edition. So, if video editor would kindly bring up a map of Asia, we got Brunei, Bhutan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Cambodia, Mongolia, Nepal, and Laos locations added to our app. So, enjoy connecting to these new countries on Surfshark. You know what else you can enjoy? Our YouTube channel, because we bring you new and exciting content every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So get subscribed and not miss a single video. And now it is time for Quick Bits. Surfshark Windows app update 3.5 revamped the main locations list screen. At the top, you'll now find the fastest and nearest country connection options. The favorite tab has also been removed and instead your start locations will appear at the top in this favorite section. We also got some great news for all Firefox browser users. The Surfshark extension update 3.13 is now available on Firefox just like on Google Chrome. So all the previous features that we mentioned in the last video, such as the ability to use the cookie pop-up blocker without a VPN, are now available. Our research team has also released a new project called Malware-Ridden Searches. You see hackers try to lure internet users into visiting sketchy websites or clicking on download links that contain malicious software that can result in really bad things happening to your device and your data. What we found out is that when you search for torrents or free MP3s of various celebrities, the chances of getting infected increase tremendously. For example, over 50% of searches with Tom Hanks were considered dangerous. Yeah, maybe his next movie will be saving Reddit user Ryan. Okay, bad jokes aside, to see more rankings on other actors, movies, TV shows, and video games, go check out the full report in the description below. 
And finally, we launched a new podcast episode, which you can check out right here. In this episode, we spoke with Alexander Valenti, Surfshark Security Officer. We discussed the importance of using two-factor authentication, and he even shared a unique way to create strong and memorable passwords. Okay, so maybe today it will be the first time I'll give up my little secret how uh, do I do. Uh, I, call, I call my method password fizz buzzing. Definitely check it out and stay tuned for more. And that is all for this episode of What's New in Surfshark. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and oh, here are two more videos that I think you'll like. That is all for me, take care.